Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and on eBay. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys 26 pairs of shoes, pre-owned, gently pre-owned shoes that I recently thrifted from one thrift store to sell in my online stores. Okay, so just a quick little backstory. I went into a Savers thrift store in my local area recently, and on that day, I actually only found, I think, two pairs of shoes that I picked up, but I also picked up some clothing items, and when I got home later that evening, I realized that two of the clothing items I picked up were damaged, so I needed to return them. So that very next day, I went back to the Savers location to return those two clothing items and I decided I was gonna look around for a little bit. The first place I headed was the shoe section because you guys know shoes is like my favorite category to resell. And surprisingly, I was walking up and down the aisles, there's like five rows of shoes and I just started finding a bunch of really good shoes that were priced decently. Usually this thrift store has some pretty ridiculous prices for shoes, but most of these were priced very reasonably. And yeah, I was just super excited. So I decided to look very closely down each row. So just as I was finishing looking like in the last row of shoes, one of the workers at the thrift store brought a big giant basket of a bunch of new shoes to restock the shelves. And she was very efficient restocking. I mean, she was like on a mission, just getting these shoes put on the shelf. So I decided not to ask her if I could look at them in the bin. I have done that in the past and occasionally they will let me just kind of look through the shoes, but she just looked like she was on a mission. So I decided to go ahead and let her finish restocking the shelves. And as, she, as soon as she was done, I actually went and I did another little lap through each aisle and I was able to pick up a few more pairs. So from this one thrift store location, this one Savers, I picked up 26 pairs of gently pre-owned shoes. Some of them actually look like they're almost in like new condition um, because condition is very important for me. I will definitely pass on shoes if they require a lot of cleaning and a lot of work um, or they are just too damaged. And I spent a total on these shoes, what I did is I just averaged out my buy cost. So my average buy cost per pair came out to be $9.31 per pair, which is really awesome, especially considering price, thrift store prices in my area. I live in Southern California and this Savers is one of my favorite spots to go to, but it's also one of the most expensive thrift stores in my area. So $9.31 per pair. I will definitely take that every day. I did also pick up some clothing items and some accessories this same day to sell in my stores, but because I have so many pairs of shoes to show you guys here, I'm actually going to split this video into two parts. So the first part is going to be nothing but shoes, and then the second part, which will be a separate video, so stay tuned for that, is going to be the clothing and accessory items that I picked up at the same at this same thrift store to sell in my stores. So let's get started with the haul. The first pair I have here is this pair of Adidas. They are like a gray and off white knit upper. They are definitely, white always gets washed out on my camera, but they have the little Adidas logos on the back here. They are in such good condition, barely ever worn. These are called like the tubular running sneakers, something like that, but they are a men's size eight and a half. Next up is this super adorable pair of snakeskin slip-on sneakers. These are by Steve Madden, which I do like picking up. This brand does actually sell really well for me, not for a ton of money, but if I'm picking them up for $9.30 a pair, these will probably sell between $25 and $35 because they are in such good condition. I've actually sold a very similar pair of snakeskin sneakers by Steve Madden. And these ones, very, very clean, very good condition, women's size 10. Okay, so next up is a, another pair of men's shoes. These are Timberlands. They're the Earth Keeper boots, genuine leather upper. I love selling Timberlands. 
definitely a good brand to, to um, pick up. You can see these are pretty clean. I mean, they have a few small scratches and scuffs, but really they are in very good condition. And they actually still have the Nordstrom Rack sticker on the inside of one of the boots. So at Nordstrom Rack, they were they were asking, um, so the, the retail price is 150 on these boots. They were 40% off at Nordstrom Rack. So somebody picked them up for 89.97. And then I got them at the thrift store for $9.31. So definitely a good deal. I think these are a size, uh, let's see, eight and a half men. Next up, we have a pair of women's hiking boots in this really pretty teal, like, almost light blue. It's like a teal color um, boot. Awesome tread on the bottom. Still in very good condition. And this is by a brand called 510. They actually sell these at REI. They might sell these other places, but I do know this brand of hiking boot is sold at REI. These are waterproof. I've mentioned before in some of my past videos that hiking style boots sell so well for me year round. Um, summertime people go hiking, wintertime people like to still go hiking. So definitely a style I'm always on the lookout for. You can see the insoles. The writing on the insoles is still very visible. It's not worn off. That's a good way to tell if a shoe has been worn a ton is just by the insoles here. So very good condition. I believe these are a size I think there are women's seven. Yeah, women's seven. Okay, then we have this pair of Cole Haan, which I don't always pick up Cole Haan, but this pair actually was half off that day. Um, they do have a color tag of the week that is half off, and they are in almost like brand new condition. There's really no signs of wear whatsoever on these, so I did decide to go ahead and pick them up. Cole Haan actually is a brand that sells um, really deep, really good if you pick up the right styles. This is an older style because it is um, part of the collaboration with Nike Air. So I don't know if you guys can read that on the bottom. It does say Nike Air. These are a size nine and a half. And yeah, I think they're just a classic style, genuine leather, little mini wedge. Definitely a good like work or career style shoe. So Definitely wanted to pick those up. So up next is a brand that I do also pick up occasionally if the style is good. I do leave this brand behind quite a bit as well, but I thought these were too stinking cute to leave behind. So these are Circus by Sam Edelman. And I probably sell just regular Sam Edelman shoes more than I pick up the Circus line. I think the Circus by Sam Edelman is a little bit of the cheaper line, but certain styles like this, especially with like big, bold, you know, pineapple, palm trees, big, bold prints and stuff and patterns will do really well. I think these will sell in the summertime. They may not sell right now, but they are in amazing condition. They're still very white. I stuffed them with some paper because I did already photograph some of these, um, but you can see the bottom, very clean. That's me trying to get the marker off the bottom of these. So the bottom is still very clean, very good condition. These are a women's size nine. Okay, so next up we have another summer style shoe. So this is a pair of sandals. I do source for all seasons all year round. You would really be surprised how many summer type items sell in the winter and how many winter items sell in the summer. Um, and you know, I'm selling all year round. So if I find a good deal on something, I'm still gonna pick it up. And these are just some strappy leather sandals by Mark Fisher. And these were also half off. So they had the half off sticker, but they are in really, really good condition. I think they're a really cute style. They are genuine leather, kind of like a light blush pink. And then they have this cork block heel on the back. And then as you can see here, the bottoms are still really clean. So they maybe were worn once or twice. And then this long strap here just wraps up around your ankles. So hopefully I can find a good photo to show these because that's gonna be difficult to display um, 
in like a flat lay style photo, but these are a size eight and a half in women's. Okay, next up we have a pair of super cute moccasin style genuine leather boots. They have this fringe detailing up the side and these are by UGG, which I'm sure most of you guys know this brand, but definitely, definitely a brand worth picking up. These are in amazing condition, you guys. Look at the bottom of these shoes. Very, very good condition. They still have all the tread on the bottom and they are very clean. These ones are a size, let's see, size seven in women's. Okay, next up we have this adorable pair of slip-on flats by J. Crew. As you can see on the inside, it says J. Crew. Very good condition. They're like a canvas upper, like a slight off-white color with blue and red stripes. They have this cute little bow tie detail in the front. And you know, they have a little bit of wear on the bottom, but for like these leather bottom soles, this actually looks really good. So they're still in very good condition and they are a women's size seven and a half. Okay, next up, I was actually surprised to find these shoes, not to find these shoes, but to find them with the half off sticker of the day. I'm just surprised nobody else picked them up but they are a really cute pair. My dog is having puppy dreams. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he makes these little like bleep, bleep barks or whatever. I don't know what to call them. I call them bleeps, but he makes these little barks in his sleep sometimes. So he's laying on the floor over here. To what I was saying, um, these are a really cute pair of sandals by Jeffrey Campbell. Let me see if I can show you the inside. It's gonna be kind of hard just the way these are. So the brand is Jeffrey Campbell. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it there. And yeah, these are in very, very good condition. There's a couple little spots on the suede, which I might be able to clean off. I'm not sure, but if not, I will just photograph these little spots here. And I still think they will sell even with the little marks on the suede there. So very good condition. They have this cute little tassel detail on the side and they are a size women's seven. Okay, next we have this adorable pair of boots. They're like a lace up block heel, genuine suede booty. And these are also by Steve Madden. So like I said, I do love picking up Steve Madden if the style and condition is right. There are a lot of Steve Madden shoes that I leave behind, but the ones just from selling this brand so much in the past, the really cute styles will sell decently on Poshmark, so I will pick them up. These are a women's size six, and as you can see, very good condition. I think they are like a dark olive green, like army green color. I was looking at them and my eyes were like playing tricks on me. I couldn't tell if they were brown or green. I don't know if the color is picking up accurate on the camera, but I'm pretty convinced they're like a dark green color. I could be wrong. I'll have to look up this exact style online to see what the color description they use online is. Does that ever happen to anybody else? Do you guys have difficulty sometimes like describing the color of an item because you can't decide if it's, you know, green or brown or sometimes like the some other colors that I get confused is gray and like a light tan. Sometimes I can't tell if it's like tan or gray. Not sure if it's just my eyes or if it's just, I don't know, you just, you don't want to describe the color wrong because that could be a case opened against you. So, okay, so next up we have another pair of genuine leather boots. I think these are genuine leather. Yeah, they have to be. They feel and smell like genuine leather. So yeah, genuine leather 
booties. And the brand on this, I have actually never heard of this brand before, so I did have to look these up in the store, but I thought the style was super cute and they are in such good condition, but the brand is actually called Coolway. C-O-O-L-W-A-Y, so Coolway, and it is all one word. Maybe you guys can see it on the bottom too. On the bottom it says, Coolway just, what does it say? It's in cursive writing, it's hard to read. Just be yourself. And it does say they're made in Spain, so that's another giveaway that it could be a decent brand to pick up. So I did these, look these up and comps looked decent, so I decided to grab them. These ones are a women's size seven. Super cute. I'm just gonna pull this giant bag I have here full of shoes. I still got quite a few more pairs. I have another bag here full of shoes, you guys. My cart, the whole like, I had all my clothing folded in like the little basket part that you can put like your, your toddler in. I had all my clothes folded in there and then the whole big basket part was just full of shoes. I'm sure people were like staring at me like I was crazy as I'm walking around the store with all these shoes, but I just, I couldn't believe how many good pairs I was finding. So, okay, next we have this pair of adorable white leather mules. Of course, they're gonna get washed out on camera but they really are this clean, you guys. They are in practically brand new condition. I don't think anybody ever wore these. If they did, I don't think they ever wore them outside because the bottoms are in perfect condition. These are a women's size six and a half. The brand is called Treasure and Bond, which historically this brand has not done the best for me, but I can't really give an honest review of this brand because I've only tried to sell it once before and it was a very small size. I think they were like a women's size five or five and a half, which is a harder size to sell. Um, I did eventually sell them. It just took a long time. So I decided to still grab these based off of style and they are genuine leather and then condition. I just think they're absolutely adorable. These are called the Kimber Mules and this brand, I do know it's sold at Nordstrom Rack, I believe. I'm not sure if it's sold other places, but yeah, I decided to go ahead and give this brand another try. Let me know down below if you guys pick this brand up or if you have also had trouble selling it. Okay, next up we have this brand new with tag pair of rain boots and this is by the brand Crocs. Super cute, could not leave these behind just because they're new with tags. I believe these retail for $55. They're called the Free Sale Shorty Rain Boot. And these are the roomy fit version. So I don't know if they have like different, like if they have like a narrow and these are the roomy fit. I'm not really sure, but either way, I'm definitely gonna use that as key words in my description. These are women's size nine. And then we have this adorable pair of little black genuine suede leather booties. This style, it's just classic black ankle booties. They always sell for me. And you can see there's a little bit of wear on the suede, but I still thought they were worth picking up. I definitely still think they will sell. I will just, you know, take really good photos. This is by the brand Sam Edelman. And these are a women's six and a half. I also picked up another pair, which you guys will see here shortly, that look exactly like this, um, but they're a different brand. Then we have another pair of men's shoes. I was so excited to find these. These are dude shoes, which if you've never heard of, I think the brand is actually called Hey Dude, um, but they just say dude on the shoe. They say dude on the inside. Here's the little logo. If you've never heard of these, definitely a brand to keep an eye out for. They're just a really nice like comfort slip on shoe. My husband actually loves these. He's had a pair for years that I bought him years ago and he wears them as kind of like house shoes and he wore them out. I mean, they were 
ready to be thrown in the trash. So this year for Christmas, I actually bought him a new pair and the pair I bought him actually, they I bought them brand new from the Buckle. I know they sell this brand at the Buckle. They might sell it other places as well. Um, but I ended up paying, I think they were like $65 plus tax. So I ended up paying about $70 for a brand new pair. So they're definitely um, not cheap. And this pair is in almost like new condition, like very, very good condition. You can see the logo perfectly. There's really nothing wrong with these at all. Unfortunately, these aren't my husband's size. Um, I mean, I guess that it's probably fortunately for me because now I can sell them and make money, but they are a US men size 13. Okay, so this next brand, I actually had never heard of this brand, but I did recognize the sub brand, I guess, on the inside of this shoe. So it's CB's and then it says CB's for J. Crew. So I saw the J. Crew in there and the Curse of J. Crew is like the newer um, logo, the, the Curse of Writing. So I figured these were a newer style. And yeah, I was actually surprised. CB's is actually a really good brand to pick up as well, even if it's not the uh, for crew for J crew version. So definitely be on the lookout for this brand CVs here, but this is just an, an adorable, I cannot talk an adorable pair of pink, like a blush pink velvet sneakers, very good condition, little, little bit of wear, but still very clean. And these are a women's size seven. Next, we have this pair of New Balance. These are the Fresh Foam Vongo running sneakers in black and white. And these are also in amazing condition. They actually did not have a tag on these um, when I found them on the shelf. So, of course, you know, I asked them to price check them for me. And the guy I asked was like, how about $5.99? So I was like, sure, $5.99 sounds great because all the other sneakers in the back that were in this amazing condition were way more than $5.99. So super excited that he gave these to me for $5.99. These did actually already sell. They sold in less than 24 hours. I listed some of these shoes last night and two pairs have actually already sold. Um, this pair, and then I'll show you guys the other pairs coming up here soon. Um, I think these sold for $40. I believe I took an offer of $40. I'll pop it up on the screen. But yeah, that's still a really good return. Okay, next up we have this pair of Reebok Nanos. I think these are like the 7.0 CrossFit shoe. And these are also in amazing condition. I'm guessing whoever bought these never wore them. Maybe they didn't fit or they didn't like them. Whatever it was because the bottoms are so clean. The upper is in perfect condition. I mean, basically, you can see the inside there. They're basically like new. Amazing, amazing condition. And these are a women's size 10. So great size as well. Okay, next we have this adorable pair of Crocs with Minnie Mouse on them. So Disney Crocs, you can see the logo on the inside there looks great. They're in very, very good condition, very clean on the bottom. Disney stuff sells really well for me. So if I find Disney that I like in good condition, I will definitely pick it up. These are a women's size six. Okay. Then we have another pair of little black suede, genuine suede booties. They look very similar to the other ones that I showed you earlier, like almost identical. But this pair is by J. Crew. This is the Sam Edelman ones I showed you guys earlier. Almost identical. Um, but yeah, I like picking up J. Crew shoes. They sell pretty good for me. So I definitely will pick them up. These are a women's size seven. And yeah, they're in very good, gently used condition. Next up, we have another pair of super cute sneakers. These ones have like this embellish 
mint kind of, I don't know, thing on the side going on. They have a ribbon style shoelace and they are in like new, never worn condition. You can see the sticker is still on the bottom there. And these are by UGG. So another pair of UGGs, great condition, super stinking cute. And these ones are size women's eight. On to our final bag here of shoes. There's not as many in this bag, but we are almost done. So if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. A few more really good pairs to show you guys. So you guys know I love my Vans. I typically source Vans brand new. I definitely will still pick them up used. The reason I don't is because thrift stores in my area think Vans are gold, which I mean, they do resell really well for me anyways, but they, they price them at like $25 plus for a used pair. So I was very, very surprised to find these. I think they were priced at $9.99 if I remember correctly. And these ones are in such good condition. So they're black leather. These are called the Skate High Reissue Cap Sneakers. Um, I have sold this version a few times in the low top version. I can't remember if I've ever sold, I think I may have sold the Skate High version um, a few times, but they do have this sparkly star glitter, which I think is absolutely adorable along the bottom sole. You can see the bottoms are in very good condition. These ones are a women's size six. Okay, this is the other pair of shoes that actually already sold for me. So I will be shipping these out soon. And this is a pair of Nike, I think these are called the Nike Dunk Sky High Hidden Wedge sneakers. Um, they do have like this little hidden wedge in here. And they're in this really pretty like metallic purple, baby blue and silver colorway. Very good condition. I did go ahead and sell these for $45. I listed them at 65. I was kind of conflicted with these. So you guys know I sell Nikes quite a bit. I've never found a pair of sky high dunks like this before. Some comps on this style of shoe are amazing. There's some that sell between $100 dollars or certain colorways but then there's also some that sell for like thirty dollars so all over the place i did find this colorway and i checked comps on ebay because i couldn't find a reliable comp on poshmark in this colorway and the last like five or six pairs in this colorway on ebay sold for around fifty dollars or less so I got an offer for $45 within minutes of listing these and I just decided to go ahead and sell them. So it's definitely possible that I could have held out and made a little bit more money on these, but just in general, when searching for the Nike Dunks, um, Sky High Dunks on Poshmark, there are quite a few that are selling around like the $45 range and I only have $9.00. What did I say at the beginning? $9.33 invested in these. So, you know, I've got tons of shoes to move. I've got tons of shoes in my inventory, my garage. I need to, you know, I'm here to make money. Yes, $45. I'll take it. So that was kind of my thought process on those. And then another adorable pair of Disney Mickey Mouse combat style boots. They do have like a canvas upper. Very, very cute. Also in very good condition. These are just by the brand Disney. They just say Disney Mickey Mouse on the inside. I guess. I'm not sure where they sold these at. Um, but yeah, it just says Disney here. And then down at the bottom, it just says Mickey Mouse. So I'm not sure where they sold these, but Disney sells, and these are too, too stinking adorable to leave behind. Women's size 10. Okay, and then the last pair I have to show you is a pair of Keens. I do love selling this outdoor brand, Keens and Merrill's. I actually 
love love Merrell's. Merrell's sell really good but Keen's is another good brand to pick up. These are also waterproof as you can see right there in amazing condition. I did think that these were a women's shoe when I picked them up at the thrift store but after doing some research um, I realized that these are actually a big kid size. So they are a girl size 6 big kid um, but that actually is equivalent to a women's seven and a half. So I really could list them as either, I decided to go ahead and list them as a big kid size, which I don't usually do. Usually I list my youth shoes as the women's equivalent, um, depending on the style. But I did look up comps and quite of them, quite a few of them were still selling for a decent price listed as the big kid size version. So I'm gonna try that first and see if they sell you can see great condition okay so before we end this video i have two little bonus pairs of shoes i just wanted to show you guys i did not include these in my total so these were not included in the uh, 933 price point and they were not included in the 26 pairs that i picked up but they were too cute for me to leave behind so i had to grab them they're little tiny tiny baby toms so Toms, you can see right there, T-O-M-S. This one, it says it on the back. I guess it's on the back of both. How stinking cute are these? They're in such good condition. One is a size 2T and the other one is a 3T. These are actually in the little plastic baggies. Like they, they put um, stuff in like little plastic bags and then they hang them on the wall and they just put like a price tag on the plastic bag. And I found them actually in the toy section. So occasionally they will put baby shoes in little plastic bags over in the toy section. And I only paid $2.99 a piece for these. So $6. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's shoe haul video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. Also make sure you're subscribed to this channel down below. Hit that little bell notification so you get notified when I do upload new videos, keep an eye out for the second part of this haul, which will be all of the clothing and accessories I picked up to sell in my online stores. That should be coming out in a couple, maybe like a day or two once I get it edited. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day, a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.